Okay, so I am going to start with the 5D, which is a property of the solution. And once again, the word solution trying to imply it is a mixture of A and B. And A is typically, you know, majority as a solvent, B is a minor portion as a solute. But that's what this uh, the expression. And it comes down to the understanding about what is my mixing difference? Okay. Sometimes I like to use delta G mix. Textbooks like to use delta mix G to be consistent with their notation. Either way, it is about something about just involving the mixing, not even considering the reaction of A and B. Just about this mixing, what, what is a contribution? Because if whenever you do the reaction, it, you produce a product and a reactant. And when you have a mixing A and B, and most like a natural product, let's say if you do the fermentation, you have water and ethanol, you want to distill out, and then you want to know how much of the vapor pressure difference is. So I, I want to know how many distillation do I have to do uh, to get more concentrate, uh, uh, I guess, uh, alcohol or purified alcohol. Okay, so delta G mix, and then I'm talking about this time, let me jump on to this liquid-liquid mixtures. So the liquid-liquid mixtures, delta G mix, cobalt NRT. Okay, so I am going to, this is actually not, not by no means, not different from what I wrote before. Delta H mix, minus T delta S mix. So I, what I just did is I just wrote down delta G, break it into the two terms, and from the, uh, this first is the first term that I'm going to write, which is an XA ln XA, XB ln B. And it used to be zero for the second term. So this is the first term. This is the second term. And we call this, you know, when I really speaking, we call this is an entropy term of mixing. This is an enthalpy of mixing. And then this energy is normalized, so it is a unionless quant, and then this one should be unionless as well on the other side. And what I just wrote here, this zero, which is a delta H mixing, is that's for the gas mixtures. That is for the gas. And then now, people wanna kind of borrow this idea. This is a entropy of mixing, so mixing A and B, gas, liquid, I don't see many make, make differences, so they just kind of borrow the idea. And then they're gonna use this something called contact probability, A, B. So this is a collision probability, uh, more fraction of A is a pro proportional to probability to, for you to find out A, and there's a probability for you to find B, and cross product is probability for you to find those two at the same place at the same time, and then how effective they are, and then they are using this uh, symbol for sign. And that's what we call now regular solution. That. And then this is a, this is a really the, one of the foundation for simply trying to describe about phase separation in liquid liquid mixture because we know oils and water they phase separate or let's say uh, methanol ethanol they do not phase separate so something the liquids are separating easily something is not and they trying to explain this using this problem and the meaning of this sign is essentially has this kind of meaning. So this equation is not in the textbook, but they are proportional to 
contacting energy of A and B minus what has happened before. Okay. So this is a sort of the energy difference term. So you are creating, so let, let's say what you, you used to have A is surrounded by A and B is surrounded by B. So this is a contact energy between A and A. And this is a contact energy between B and B. But what has happened by mixing, if you're mixing together, and you start to see this A interaction with B. Right? So that's a contact energy of A and B. So that's a, that's a one. So that's a new energy of contact, and this is an energy what you have before. And what I'm saying here already is this is a liquid, right? This is a liquid. When you mean by liquid, there is a, some sort of attractive interaction to condense this molecule from gas phase into liquid phase. So there's a good enough, strong enough attraction force. So this interaction is pre, uh, I mean, is not attractive enough to be liquid condensation. So now we are asking this. Let's say if, if you have a water, if you have an ethanol, do they have an attractive interaction? Sort of, right? They do, because they can have an, uh, but is that as good as the water-water hydrogen bonding? No, right? So that's, that's the thing. So it is an attractive interaction, but the magnitude of attraction is, for this case, is not as strong compared to water-water interaction. So the, when we say interaction means this is a negative energy, negative energy. So they are there, the attraction. But this negative is small compared to large negative, right? large negative energies. So by combining this, you start to say, well, this is positive, typically for net sort of the repulsive interest. Between A and B, right? So that's can, can you, does it make sense? Is a, is a, overall, is a net repulsive interaction. They, they repel each other. They, they, I mean, they attract each other, but your reference point is what you're supposed to have in the beginning before mixing it. So therefore, this, your reference point, this negative becomes so positive and outweighs the negative term that you have. So this one is typically, I'm trying to say this is typically positive, okay? So that's a concept that you just need to have. To measure that is a nightmare, and is a, actually it's not, it's not, it's a, it's a oversimplified equation, so they need to be a lot of correction, but the beauty of the regular solution theory is very simple to, to do, and then we can give a very graphical understanding. So now we start to see this diagram. I am I'm going to summarize what this really means now. So let's say XA. And then I am going to draw this one, okay? Which is an enthalpic contribution. So this is a delta H mix. And then you, and then you start from zero. And what this equation becomes is this xa, 1 minus xa, right? So if I draw that, this is my 0. And uh, um, I'm just drawing here, let's say, delta H mix. And this is an energy. Energy, quote unquote, divided by nRT. And then I'm, I'm drawing the energy term in terms of delta H mix. And then this is a zero. And this will be essentially 
like this parabolic term. Does it make sense? This is, this is essentially, I'm drawing to you that that's a side exit. It has a maximum over there. So this is that. So this contribution always may, makes your delta G mix to be positive, right? So that's a penalty. You can't go by. If, it's, if the, this the kazai is a negative, some cases they have actually even more attraction, you will have a negative one. I mean, that's, that's even a win-win story, right? By, you used to have attraction, but you have an even more stronger interest. But this is the most of the case. Mixing A and B, that just used to be different. And then, but what, what is also important, so this is a, like a number two. What about number one here? I, can I draw that, right? And if you plug it in your Excel and then plot this, you, you'll get this form looks like this. That's a, your equation. It, it is a negative, and that's your delta S mix term, in a way, minus T delta S. So that's the contribution to the delta G, and this is a, your delta H mix, mix terms. And you, you have to combine these two, finally capture delta G mix, divide by N. T, and I want it to be, this one to be negative. And to be, uh, is actually, this is a, this is really actually too big. I mean, so I, I just draw this way, but typically, and that's, that's not that bad, so it, it is something looks like that. So I'm, what I do now is your delta G mix, which is, is a one plus two. So I'm going to draw the two different cases where your psi value is not so big when your psi value is. So this is a component on one and two, but now I have this diagram, let's say, and I'm gonna draw two cases. Okay. And then this is a zero. Delta, delta G mix, and T, so that's here. And this is the same delta G mix. And when your psi is small, okay, quote unquote small, this one is almost like a flat, right? When you can think, think that this is a very small value. A small plus with big dip, the net net delta G mix is like this. So what's that mean? You will have a negative dip free energy mixing with all the composition in this. Right? So you know it is a fancier way of saying they are missable, right? And then now let, let me bring it up that when your delta psi values start to getting bigger, I mean this is getting bigger and bigger, uh, increasing psi value is increasing, this is getting bigger, they start to make changes of this function here. And then what you see here is now something looks like this. It is actually has to be symmetric for the regular solution, but it looks like a W. Right. So then, then what, do you, what do you see? As far as the, this is concerned, there is a region of delta G mix is negative, even there's some positive numbers, so they got a phase effort, right? So this is a case that they phase effort. And then the, with actually a, a different kinds of consideration, but what I say is this is a one phase, visible. And this is a two phases, phase actually.
And so there will be a critical critical chi value, you make it things from one phase to the two phases, right? Phase separation. So that value is 2.0. Okay. So this is coming from the regular solution phase. If you know how I arrived at 2.00, I can drive it to you in my graduate course in next semester. <laughs> but I don't want to spend the time too much on this. Other than that, people try to attempt to establish an equation for essential delta H of mixing for liquid liquid mixtures and parameterize. This is the beauty of this is there's only one parameter in this solution, and then they were trying to explain it to you. Does it work? Sort of working, not not perfect. So they start to well, this is perfect, and so people start to changing around and then, uh, put more different types of parameters. Maybe this parameter is one is not good enough. You might think about Van der Waals hydrogen bonding and ionic interaction. Those are the different types of the, the interactions. So they kind of break this one into a different components. And stuff. Okay. But this is something that somebody is still doing it for the better prediction and understanding. But in a nutshell, what you see here is delta of mixing is always mixing makes me happy. I am, I'm all supportive of making the mixing happy, but delta H mix can be okay to something that not so favorable for the mixing. So it is a yin and yang story that how which one outweighs over the other, and then sometimes you will have that, and sometimes you will have this. Okay. okay.